flexing, yeah. Cause I just checked my bank account and I'm good. I'm flexing, yeah. Cause my singles going off in my hood. I'm flexing, yeah. Everywhere I go, you know it's all love. I'm flexing. Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy, SP of the Crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Shiny. I'm going to be reacting to Lucifer and Hard. Let's get it. Let's go. What I love is the production. I love this production. <laughs> Everything about this feels old, yes, fresh. I don't It's my thing about this song, it's so overwhelming. Like, I'm kind I'm practically overwhelmed right now and I don't know what to say. The backup vocals so Bro, the power that this group has is ridiculous. It's, when did this come out? Because I'm trying to put this in the time that it came out because it reminds me of a lot of music that I've listened to. 2010? Okay. So that's why it's got that electronic because that's what was popular back then in 2010. It was that electronic mix with like pop R&B sound. So yeah, that makes sense why this... I can see why this song was huge because like I'm listening to it and I'm like, this sounds like the time... You know, like it sounds like the time of what what was going on in the time of that of music. Ooh, what a voice. Is that you know, this one here? 
Is that Min Hock? Because his voice is great. I can't tell if that's Min Ho or or, or Jong 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 Yoon. Oh, it's Jong Yoon. Mind me, mind me, mind me, mind me. It's Jong Yoon. Okay, yeah, I can tell the difference now. His voice is incredible. That's me. This is me. Fear captures me as the day went by, it became sharper. Ooh. Wow, that switch up is crazy. Such an interesting song. It's such an interesting song. Like, I like it. The thing that puts me off is the production, if you want my personal opinion on it. You know how Espo's going for the futuristic look? This this is this feels old futuristic like steampunk. Yeah, it does feel like steampunk. You're right about that. It does feel like steampunk. My only problem is the production. I could see the production being amazing back then, but I listen to it now and it's just like a little nitpicks. But it's a great song. I want to hear what this sounds like live. So in my next video where I react to them again, I'm going to hear a live version of this song because I want to hear the difference. I reckon live, this song is amazing. I bet, I could bet my fucking house on it that hearing this song live would be crazy. And it would be really enjoyable because of the power of the vocals, the power of the rap, the power of the crowd and everything like that combined. I can imagine it being amazing. For me, it's the production. I can't get over the production. But I like it. I can see why this is a, such a legendary song. It's a great song. Like, it's a great song. But exactly, this smothered production is what we came to miss. It's so closely inter intertwined with these older groups. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. I was thinking that, like, when I started listening to it, I was like, imagine, imagine this group with the production that they have now, like that song specifically. All right, let's get it. I love the fucking shorts. I love the shorts. Okay, T. Feels like 30 years difference from this if I, yo, I was gonna say the exact same thing. Oh, 
Oh, that's such a cold bar. Might slip away for a bit, but he's he's back the champion. Ugh. And then here, 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 here. The crown will return to its king. Cold. This is a beautiful song. The mixture of Key and Temin is so nice to listen to. This is how I see it, Majo. This is how I saw it, right? I heard, um, what's it called? Lucifer. And I was like, bro, like, in my head, I'm like, bro, imagine this in the production that it's in now. That music is in now. Lucifer would be amazing with the product, like with the production that it has. Like I, like I said, I can see it being, I can see why it was so amazing. But first, the first thing that popped into my head was, ooh, like, it would be interesting to hear what this production would sound like now. And now hearing Heart, which it's a complete, it's a completely different song, but I was just like, damn, like that would have been interesting. But I really don't want Modern Lucifer. It's like computer painting Mona Lisa. Yeah, yeah I get you. I wasn't even saying remaster. I wouldn't even remaster it. Like, to be honest, all I would want, I will, sorry, I wouldn't, the only thing that I would want is for them to master it. Not change the production or anything like that. Just master it. Not, not even make it more, more, like, this is what I'm saying. I wouldn't even want to make it more modern. That's not what I'm talking about. I just mean, like, just, like, a couple of touch-ups that they could do that would make it, like, literally keep it the same way that it is, but just with, like, little touch-ups that make, would make it sound a bit more cleaner. Yes, exactly. Make it clean, like make it just a bit cleaner because that's the biggest problem with like production, you know, back then is that the mixing and mastering wasn't that great at that at those times. This is cold. Temin is amazing. Man. Cold. Cold. I like that song a lot. Interesting. I really like that song a lot. Really, really enjoy that song a lot. Uh what do I what do I have to say? What do I have to say? I like it. I like it a lot. What fascinates what fascinates me about Shiny is that it's a group full of soloists, yet it never feels like when performing as a group. Yeah, that's sick. I reckon that's pretty... I reckon that's creative. That's very creative to do. I like that song a lot. Seriously, that song really impressed me. Like, I, I know I've listened to Shiny's music, but damn, that song... I don't know what it is about that song that just... It's different. I like both of the songs. I feel like both songs are amazing. 
Hard reminds me, I'll be honest, hard gives me a little bit more of like a NCT type vibe. But as well, I haven't listened to Shiny's discography like that. So maybe did like NCT get a lot of influence from Shiny? See, I don't know that. That's the thing that I'm curious about. Does like NCT get a lot of like inspiration from Shiny? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. And I don't know Shiny's music like that, but I like it. I really like it because what's, I agree with you about each member. You can tell that each member is a soloist, like can like is a soloist, but when they come back to, it's like what um, Minho said. It's like, when we come back, we're still the Kings. You know, like, we might be doing, like, some side missions on the side. But, yo, when we come back together, we're kings. Like, we're the best in the game at what we do. And no one can touch us. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I really like, but I like the difference between Lucifer and Heart. Like, obviously, they're going to be completely two different songs because of how long ago. Uh, Sh what, it's been 20 years? 20, 20, no, 24, wait, how long has it been, Jesus, my math is off, I don't know why I got 20, it's not been 20, has it, when did it come out, 2010, right, 2010, so, yeah, what am I talking about, yeah, 24 years, what the fuck am I talking about, Check who co co composed Lucifer. Who co composed it? Baby Rex. Oh, wow. Baby Rex. Jesus Christ. Is that who you're talking about? Damn. Really? Was she big in 20 around that time? Or was she just doing like production? Oh, she was in a band. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. She was starting there. No idea about the details. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it now. Wow, that's cool. Oh, okay. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoy I really enjoy this. The hell? I didn't mean to click that. Um, I really enjoy both songs. And I'm keen to go down my, like, discovery of Shiny. Like, I know I'm just getting started with that. And a lot of people probably ask, oh, why are you taking your time with it? I've been taking my time with um, Shiny because I actually really enjoy their music. But sometimes I like to just take it slow and enjoy the music the, the more that I can. But I'm going to be reacting more to Shiny more often. As well, I wanted to ask, do you just want me to react to their solo music as well? Because I know I've been, I know I've listened to Temin's music, but I've never reacted to it. So if you want me to do that, I'll do it. And if you want me to start from a certain a certain place, let me know. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So if y'all like this, give this a thumbs up. Not only that, comment if you want to see more. Subscribe and remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Latest. Ah, whoop. Eh.